Hi guys, this is Malinki. Welcome to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today I will discuss about immunology lecture eight, interference. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So in the last video, we have seen what is cytokine, and we have also seen its types. And interferon is one type of cytokine. So interferon is one type of cytokine. I would strongly recommend you to go through that video once. Link is in my description box. Okay. So now interferons are of two types: type one interferon and type two interferons. So type one interferons include interferon alpha and interferon. beta whereas type 2 interferon includes interferon gamma so i will discuss about type 1 interferons first now type 1 interferons are produced by any cell that is infected by a virus so any cell that is infected by a virus can produce interferons now we will uh, we will see the mechanism so when a virus suppose this is a virus so when a virus infects a cell so this virus is infecting this host cell this is the host cell and this virus is infecting this cell so it induces the infected cell to produce interferons so number of interferons are now produced by this host cell these interferons get released from these virus infected cells and what they will do they bind they will bind to nearby uninfected cell so this cell is nearby uninfected cell and these interferons will now go to that cell and they will bind to this cell now remember one thing any type of cell in our human body possesses receptors for interference on its plasma membrane so this is the cell that has the receptors and that receptors are now binding these interferons so when interferons bind these cell surface receptors on the plasma membrane of its nearby cell now these cells will start to produce antiviral proteins so now these cells are also producing antiviral proteins but these antiviral proteins are now in their inactive form so these proteins are now in active okay because virus is not yet present in these cells so what they will do with these antiviral proteins that's why these antiviral proteins are now in their inactive state later when the virus comes to infect the in uninfected cell now this virus is now getting released from this cell and now it is attacking this cell so when it will attack this cell the antiviral proteins that are already made and that are in their inactive mode they will be activated now these proteins are activated because virus now enter virus is now in the cell so these proteins now will be activated and then they will destroy viral genome so now the viral genome is destroyed and if the viral genome is destroyed viral proteins will not also be generated hence viral growth will be ceased so no viral growth in this way interference prevents spread of viral infections so they sees the spread of viral infection 
That means interference actually interfered the growth of a virus. Hence it is named hence it is named interference because they are interfering the viral growth. But these host cells so these host cells which actually secrete interference will not be protected by these interference you need to remember these things that these host cells who are actually generating the interference will not be protected by these virus because these interference will not act on them these interference will not act on these virus on their mother cell they will not act on them they only protect nearby cells so these host cells these host cells will be identified and killed by natural killer cell natural killer cells will come and they will identify these host cells and these cells will be killed by them so we will discuss about natural killer cells and how do they kill them in the next lecture so don't miss it now type 2 interference type 2 interference are actually produced by t cells and natural killer cells so they stimulate the macrophage these type 2 interference stimulate macrophages to undergo phagocytosis they also induce the so interference to first of all they induce phagocytosis by macrophages and they also induce induce inflammation so this is all about interference stay with me for the next exciting video bye bye